क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी फाइव इट इज अ वेरी सिंपल काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल कैलकुलेट अ पॉइंट विच इज लाइंग ऑन द लाइन इट मीन्स द लाइन ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ दीज टू गिवन प्लेन टू फाइंड दैट आई विल सब्सटीट्यूट जेड एस जीरो इन बोथ द प्लेन्स देन वी विल हैव द इक्वेशन टू एक्स माइनस फाइव वाई इक्वल्स टू थ्री एंड एक्स प्लस वाई इक्वल्स टू फाइव by solving this we will have the point the point as 4 comma 1 x will be 4 and y is 1 so the point we have a point on this line as 4 comma 1 comma 0 now the required plane is parallel to the plane x plus 3 y plus 6 z equals to 1 therefore that plane will be in the form of x plus 3 y plus 6 z Equals to lambda. To get the value of lambda, we will put the point here. It gives us lambda equals to seven. So our required plane is in the option first. So the answer is one. Question number thirty-six. We have seen a similar kind of problem in previous years. A very again very simple problem. The number of elements in A cross B. Will be number of elements in A multiplied by number of elements in B. It means eight. There are eight elements in set A cross B, and we want to find out the number of subsets having at least three elements. So the number of subsets having exactly three elements will be eight C three, or four is eight C four, and so on. The number of subsets having eight element will be eight C eight. This expression can be calculated by two raised to the power eight minus eight C zero, eight C one. 8c2, which finally gives us the value as 219. So the right answer is three. Hmm. Question number 37. We have a family of lines which are passing through a fixed point one comma two. and we have another point 2 comma 3 this point is say a and this point is say b 2 comma 3 we are supposed to calculate the locus of image of b in this family of line the reflection of b is say p we can see whatever be the line ab will be equal to ap these two triangles are congruent triangles therefore the length ap will be constant ap length will be equal to ab and ab is root 2 it means the locus of p will be a circle whose center is a and radius is root 2 that's it and the right option will be 1 so answer 1 is the right choice Question number thirty-eight. Very simple problem of limit. Limit x approaching to zero. One minus cos two x can be written as two sine square x. Three plus cos x is kept as it is. And x tan four x. This is the problem. we will divide tan 4x by 4x and we will divide and multiply x square here this expression gives us a limit 1 this is approaching to 4 this is approaching to 1 and x square is cancelled by these two x so what is left is 2 into 4 upon 2 into 4 upon 4 so the limit is 2 so the right option will be 1 answer is 1 
द हिस्टोरिकल रिजल्ट एवर प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय एनी कोचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंडिया द मोमेंट वे इमोशंस स्पीक्स लाउडर देन वर्ड्स landmark achievements of our students in 2014 yet another proof of leadership allen career institute path to success